welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I have a good night story about saying good night. This book is called Good Night Dragons. Good night, dragons. This is a story about a little boy with a big imagination who takes his dog, goes out into the woods, and tries to catch all the dragons so he can say good night. I wonder what happens. I wonder if he catches any dragons out in the woods. We're going to have to get into this book and find out. Are you ready to get into Good Night Dragons with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Good Night Dragons, written by Judith L. Roth, illustrated by Pascal Lamitre. There are dragons in the forest, says the boy. No, not dragonflies, real dragons. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. The reason I know this, I slept under the great chestnut tree deep in the woods and dreamed of dragon things. Uh-oh, he's asleep, and he's dreaming all about dragons in the woods. I am called to tame dragons. My heart tells me so. I gather my tools. I pack up my traps. I fine-tune my tricks for dragon taming. He's going to go catch the dragons and tame them. Into the forest, into the trees, with my horse and my wagon. I'm ready. Look, he's riding on the doggy like it's a horse. And he's got his wagon all full of stuff to catch dragons. A roar spooks my horse. Hot gusts from above ruffle my hair. My heart pounds. A smell like burnt toast seeps through the trees. <gasps> Could it really be dragons? I shake as I climb, but I have a plan. This is what I know. Everyone needs a cuddle. Maybe dragons more than most. Oh, he has a plan to cuddle the dragons and tame them. With a voice strong as hawk song, I call them to me. Come, you heartbreakers. Come, you brokenhearted. Come put out your fire with sweet chocolate milk. He's calling the dragons and offering them chocolate milk. He thinks that'll make them feel better. They drop from the sky like huge grouchy bats, blowing fast flames that crisp the tree edges. Wow! Look at all the dragons. One, two, three, four. And they're all blowing fire. But I wrap them in blankets soft as morning mist, soft as summer flowers, soft as feathered nests. Well, he's got one all wrapped up in a blanket. Slower now. They stomp through the meadow like hot, cranky rhinos, flattening grass, scaring all things small. Look, they do look mad and grumpy. But I settle them in clover, gentle as springtime, gentle as moonlight, gentle as baby's breath. Wow, they don't look mad anymore. Now, dragons, a sleepy time treat. Drop in the chocolate. Add milk and a flame. Stir up together. They're heating up the chocolate milk. Hot chocolate is born. Oh, look, all the dragons are drinking hot chocolate, and now everybody's happy. I watch the dragons, nodding in nap time, soothed in their slumber, tame for a time. Maybe all a dragon needs is a cuddle. Maybe all a dragon needs is one sweet dream. Good night, dragons. Oh, that was a great book. That boy really wanted to catch the dragons. And he had all kinds of traps. And all he needed to want to do was cuddle with them. Because they were all mad and blowing fire. And he said, you know what? Dragons just need cuddles. And he did cuddle with them. And he tried to give them some chocolate milk. And they <sighs> blew their fire and made hot chocolate. Well, that's fun. And then he cuddled up with the dragons, gave them a good night's sleep, and nobody was mean, mad, blowing fire 
anymore. This was a good, fun book. A good book to read as we say good night because we need to say good night to you, to me, to the dragons, to the dinosaurs, to mom, to dad, everybody. It's time to say good night. It's time for my little dragons to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you're on your adventures out in the woods or in the backyard, wherever you may go, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.